introduce you to the name I'll be going under from here forward. I'll be known as Rooster Blackspur. Uh, I started making a video, kind of like a montage, you know, like what Rooster Blackspur did in 2020. And it kind of started with, you know, I made this many videos and I posted this many first performances. It's really not like anything else I've shared before, <laughs> but it feels important because as I watch this video, as I see myself being like a ping pong ball, you know, going from my strength and my excitement to my sorrow and my loneliness and back and forth, I know that I'm not the only person who experienced 2020 that way. And honestly, having a Patreon community is what kept bringing me back to who I was. So this video is for you and and it's also for me because it was an important journey to look back on this year in the way that I did when I was making this film. Um, you know, as, as a Patreon person, you guys are getting what's called first performance, which, which is basically as soon as I'm done writing a song, as soon as I can memorize it and I can play it, I turn on that camera and I record it three times and I share the best version that I can out of those three takes. COVID has been one of the most suppressing forces in all of our lives. You kind of have two choices when you're being suppressed. Go under or fight like hell. Working on the sound where it comes out of the speaker over there, but I'll, I'll have turned my piano around so that when I perform, and that's gonna be fun. Um, I think I'm gonna cook up some covers and oh, those little corns, corns, corns everywhere. There's corn. And look, look at this. This is a little guy. And zucchini, butternut, 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 a mystery seed that I'm not sure what it is, and pumpkins in the middle. So that's a pumpkin seed. In 2019, I fell in love in July, unexpectedly, and I knew that I was taking on a long distance relationship. COVID happened and all of this hardship and reality and stress and distance, you know, further distance, um, kind of crashed in on my in love experience and, um, it was very hard for me. I felt very robbed of that little sweet bubble, you know, that little sweet bubble. about when you're living on your own and you're just by yourself you kind of fortify you know you start to get like that pioneer strength <laughs> relationship 
and you're apart and alone. It is a loneliness that is something I've never, I've never experienced and I don't know that I've even fully been able to express how that feels. Cause there can never be a love like you. This year, um, Great Big Mama Sunshine won the New Mexico Music Awards Best Country Album. The whole album won. An award like that doesn't represent just that album. For me, anyway, it represents the journey of my life. That's a lot of pressure on a little piece of plastic. How fucking ironic that the year that I... I am recognized as a songwriter. I am in my living room watching an award ceremony from a tiny little screen on a computer. And I have all this emotion and I have all these things I wanna say. And I can't say anything. I can, I, I just have to watch a guy on screen say, you know, best album of the year, congratulations. Anywho, moving on to the next thing, it was, it was really hard not to be able to, um, not to be able to communicate what that, what that award really meant to me in my life. Um, it, it represents my entire life. trying really hard to kind of give the two of us autonomy and at the same time I'm writing love songs that I'm sharing with everybody <laughs> when we share a part of our true selves it calls to a true part in another person and gives them permission to show their true self and so I believe in that reciprocal nature of being a musician writing love songs has just opened me up in a way that um I wasn't prepared for the vulnerability and for how hard that is. Because I'm writing an entire record of love songs. I have a whole album of love songs. As, a, as an artist, as a musician, I am sharing my life with a lot of people. And it's a privilege and it's an honor and sometimes it's hard. <laughs> especially when you're having a hard time. Like I was launching out of this canon at the beginning of this year. I was excited to start this new chapter in my life and becoming Rooster Blackspur. And I can watch myself start to walk a little too alone and be a little too lonely. And so, you know, the loneliness not only got to me, but it got to several people that emailed me saying, God, can we please have some music? We'll stay socially distant. We'll be outside. We'll, we'll do everything right. But can we please have music? And, um, and that trip was really important for me. Getting on the road was so important for me to connect so give me a minute because i think it's worth being in tune hey you you thank you that was so sweet of you oh my gosh thank you buddy um it was a super great show tonight um you know, lots of people said you know this i didn't know i needed this the way i needed it tonight and um uh, and that was something that was said at, you know, basically every show I've done so far is like people didn't really even realize how much they needed this moment. So I'm eating a nice bowl of chili and um, on a nice beautiful night, the weather was perfect. Was, just everything was great. So I'm very encouraged by the two uh, shows that I did this weekend. One of them I directed and put on uh, with, with my... Um, uh, parameters and the other one was a public event by a festival 
Um, so I loved the ribbon system and I got so much positive feedback from that. And honestly, at the festival I went to, I wished we had had the ribbon system in place. So you can read about that in my previous post. But um, I think going forward in any social setting, the ribbon system is a really um, easy way to communicate comfort levels of social distance without having to have that conversation with every single person. So oh, I'm really good. encouraged by that. Uh, our first performer today uh, is an Alaska gal, a bright light for smoggy times. <laughs> She's a cactus wrangler, singer-songwriter, coyote howling, unholy, foot stomping, motivational musical messenger of love. Please welcome Rooster Blacksburg. <laughs> I have always had a message of love. I have always been calling to my congregation to go out into the world and to be loving forces of good. And that's who I have always been. That's who I will always be. I just may own it a little bit more as Reverend Rooster Blacksburg, right? Just like the rooster. called church people so anyway I'm stoked to uh, bring some music to people uh, own my Reverend Blackspur persona a little bit more on stage and I have I've been preaching I've been like firing it up a little bit and stomping my feet a little bit more and um, it feels good I mean that's always been my message yes I am an unholy minister of love fuck yeah Well, I just, um, I'm honored to be here, and I am on a free tour, and it's, um, it started when one of my fans reached out to me and emailed me, and they weren't the first one to say, um, I'm dying without live music, and um, the second email I got was from someone who said, I really think it's unfortunate that they're letting people have church, but we can't go to venues and see live music, because for me, live music is my church, and so I thought... What if I was a minister? <laughs> and what if you were my congregation? Amen. That's what I thought, people. Sing it, sister. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. That's right. Well, on that note, maybe we ought to do a little sing along here so you guys are, get warmed up on what it's like to come to church. It's, a, it's called More Joy, and it says, More joy, more love. Give me a sign from up above. I feel it coming down. I'm gonna wear my joy like a shiny crown. And you're welcome to wiggle and squirm about. Feel the spirit of love. Feel the spirit of joy. And it goes, the call and response is more joy, more love. It goes like this. More joy. More joy. Fucking tired, so tired. I slept so good on that bed. What his bed must be made from the downy skins of unicorn babies because it was like sleeping on a cloud. I don't know what the fuck's going on with that mattress, but I'm probably gonna tear some sheets off tonight and look at it because holy mother of Jesus. I have no idea when I wrote Big Dipper how deeply those lyrics and the meaning of that song would permeate into my personal experience. There was this longing. It started 
obviously that song started with a longing just to be with the person that I was in love with and that I was writing all these songs about. But it really started to encapsulate the longing that we're all feeling. Each and every person on this planet has been longing and missing something whether that's a person, whether that's the ability to go to a live show, whether that's going out to your favorite restaurant. We've had to experience important moments or high emotional moments in this different way. We're still connecting, but we're still missing what we used to have and we're trying to find our way in the dark. But in our loneliness, we're not alone. Whatever we're facing or experiencing, someone under that same sky is wondering the same thing, wishing the same thing, hoping for the same thing. So we really are together in this thing, even though it's been said a million times. We really are connected and we are one people. Good night, my baby. Good night, my love. I should make this trip every year regardless of playing music just like traveling around connecting with people that are amazing and singing music for them like whether or not that's professional or not like it's it feels so good to do and um it feels so pure rather than like trying to be a headliner and like get booked it's like what if you just drove around the fucking countryside and like connected with people who love you and sang music for them Donations. If we listen closely to her voice, we will turn and then turn. How can we say we are separate when we are one? one, one. We are one. Um, every time I listen to John Michael and Susan sing, I just weep this from this beautiful place um, where I feel like, first of all, John Michael's one of the best singer-songwriters I know. But that's what I have to say. Um, but the place that you write from, the place that the two of you sing from, is the place I want to live all the time. So... Um, so I love you both so much, I can't talk anymore. I'm supposed to be the tough one, remember? My name's Rooster. Um, that was my main mission, was just to bring love and connection and bring some joy into a moment that has been very lonely and, and um, hard on us all in, in our own ways. I'm not quite sure how to say this, but I think all of us have had to let go of life looking a certain way. The same way that people were waiting for a restaurant to open so they could go back to doing what they knew and what they enjoyed. I was kind of waiting until I could get back to my relationship so that it would feel the same way it used to. We could spend a lot of time lamenting what was and waiting around for something to come back around or we could start to spend our energy on creating something new and I saw that really clearly after I got home from tour that I needed to let go of the way things used to look both in my personal life and in my musical career and in many many things and I need to think about 
What does life look like moving forward? that comes with it I like sharing my life with people and I like sharing my life through music I like sharing my life inside of a relationship I don't like being alone I know how to be alone I've spent a lot of my life alone I'm comfortable with that alone space I know how to plant a garden and do the chores and take out the trash and make a bed frame and whatever I need to do you know I, I I feel capable of being alone. I feel strong in that alone space. I just don't want to be alone. I just don't like it. <laughs> I'm glad I took this trip. I think it's been good for me. I think it's been good for the people I've encountered. Um, but I also see why people have been sitting this out and being more careful about going out and just deciding to stay home because it is a time where it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. But I can't, I can't ever stop talking about how I believe that love is what changes the world. Because that's what I believe and that's what changed my life. And that's what changed the people that I love and admire's lives and all the heroes I know. That's what they believe. And, um, so, that's all. It just seems like people are just turning on each other in a way that I haven't ever seen. So, uh, I'm out here trying to counter it. But even that is controversial. What a weird fucking time. And uh, I miss you a lot. A lot. All right, baby. I'll take it all into my bones. You throw it to the open sky. I got that kind of heavy love. singing with the Bankies is just fucking awesome and um, we just we we had so much fun and I just fucking love singing with them it's like how do I just sing with them you know like if, even if it's only 10 shows a year how do I just make them all with them because that is so much blazing fun <laughs>
significant crash, I suppose, is the, not in my car, <laughs> in my person. We'll see if I put this in any kind of video. It's terrifying. Already I've done so many things to fuck my own career. <laughs> I've quit a band I was in for 10 years. I'm no longer married. Now I'm with a woman. I'm called a different name and I'm writing love songs where I've never written a love song before in my life. You know, I'm, I'm changing everything everyone knew me to be and becoming something new and that alone is so terrifying and, and, you know, people dropping off your email lists and, you know, writing you letters that you're just not the person they thought you were. And it's a lot. And then, you know, taking to the road alone and uh, not having a band and not having a partner and not having that musical support. Um, being out there on the stage by yourself is a different... I've never loved that, <laughs> not gonna lie. I've always wanted at least one other person up there, but it's like, here's me, and it's vulnerable. Um, it's a vulnerable work. Being an artist is a vulnerable work. Being a person is a vulnerable work. If you're gonna be a real one, and you're gonna live from your heart, it's a real vulnerable, terrifying work. So I have tried to be what I'm asking people to be, if that makes sense. And I know it's hard. And I know what I'm asking of every person that I encounter to do is the hardest work they'll ever do because it's the hardest work I've ever done. We all had shadow days, seasons where we lost our way. Stories we would rearrange if we could somehow. But we would not be standing here without them. To be on the road the road talks a lot and I don't usually have music on when I'm on the road I just usually am alone in my world of thoughts and you know I've uncovered a lot of things about me and some of them hard and some of them good you know but uh nothing I didn't probably know <laughs> but I'd probably just heard it a little better in the silence so the world is good it's a beautiful place and I'm thankful to do what I do and be able to counter the dark shadow by creating beautiful music and important moments in people's lives so that's all those are my thoughts all right when I see
trying to capture in song what it means to be a human being, right? And what it's like to walk through the world with an open heart and with a loving nature and how hard that is. And so, you know, there's anywhere from joy to sorrow in, in, one, in one album or one evening of music. And this moment in time is teaching us that to be human is all of it. All of it is the real us. I am joyous some days, full of pep, energy, and life. And some days my sorrow eats me alive and I'm doing good if I just feed myself and drink enough water that day. And I think my journey as Rooster Blackspur has been embracing that <laughs> I'm all of those things. I'm not just happy. I'm not just sorrowful. I'm all of it on any given day. And I always want to be writing from whatever authentic place that I'm in and sharing that and hope that somebody listening identifies and finds a place to belong inside of my lyrics. I feel the importance of a compassionate, loving message more than I ever have before. And I feel more empowered as Rooster Blackspur to walk on that stage and to call to the loving nature of human beings. Like, I know it's cliche imagery, but that image of a snake shedding its skin keeps coming to mind and, and that old skin has fallen off there's that new that newness that vulnerable newness and that is what this year has felt like to me i have been sharing myself in this vulnerable state and to be able to grow into myself in a new way and have you alongside of me through that journey has meant the world to me. This year and all of this discovery has given me an opportunity to discover and uncover things about me that I needed to find. So thank you. And you know what else I needed to find? This hat. <laughs> hey, Big Dipper, I'm making my wish. Cause love should not have to be a part like this. And while you're shining and making your rounds, come pick me up and drop me down into my lover's arms. Good night, my baby.